This is Blue Pill, an extra cheap and very capable STM32 F1 board, and I want to make this board A. Update its firmware remotely, and B. Turn it into a RESTful server where I can easily create custom functions and call them via a simple HTTP interface. Both goals can be achieved with the Cloud Communication Module CCM. In this setup, I have Blue Pill connected to the Espressive DevKit C board which has CCM firmware loaded on it. The red and black wires connect power and ground pins, yellow and blue wires, serial transmit and receive pins, green and brown wires, connect reset and boot zero pin. When CCM wants to update the firmware on the blue pill, it turns boot zero pin high and then pulses the reset pin, moving the blue pill into a bootloader mode. Then CCM transmits a new firmware over the serial line. And in the normal mode, a CCM talks to the blue pill over the serial using JSON RPC protocol. So a blue pill should become a JSON RPC server and CCM can bridge it to the internet, either to HTTP RESTful or to MQTT protocol. Here is a bare metal template project. It doesn't use RTOS or Arduino environment or Cube Framework from ST. The only thing it uses is a CCM client library called mjson, which implements JSON RPC functionality. Let's take a look at the code. The main function initializes a built-in LED, initializes UART1 serial interface, initializes JSON RPC library, and then executes a super loop blinking an LED every certain number of cycles. The JSON RPC library exports two built-in functions, rpc.list, sys.info, and a custom function, setCycles, which can change a blinking interval. The next step is to configure CCM to connect to the m-cloud service, which can map all JSON RPC functions exported by the blue pill to the RESTful endpoints. Also, M-Dash can provide OTA, a remote update. Log in to M-Dash. Click on Add New Device to register a new device. Execute MOS Wi-Fi network name and network password to set up Wi-Fi on the CCM module and get internet access. Now click on Access Token to copy it to the clipboard and execute MOS config set dash dot enable equals true and dash dot token equals your access token. Now we see that CCM module comes online. Execute make zip. This creates a firmware bluepill.zip and now we can update bluepill over the air. Click on my device, click on OTA update, click on choose firmware zip file and choose bluepill.zip and click open. So the update process has started. So now we can see that the blue pill starts to blink. That means that over the air update was successful. Now click on my device and click on API URL to copy it to the clipboard. In your terminal type curl and paste the copied command add slash rpc slash host dot rpc dot list this restful call calls rpc.list service on your blue pill. Now let's call set cycles to change the blinking interval. We set the HTTP header content type application JSON and we pass the post data a JSON object period equals 200,000 cycles. And in the URL, we specify hosts.setCycles function. Press enter. Now we can see that the blue pill starts to blink slower. That means that with this restful call, we have passed a command to the blue pill. Similarly, CCM can bridge functions to the MQTT, to custom MQTT server or to one of the well-known services like AWS, Azure, or Google IoT, or IBM Watson. But this is subject of another video. Thanks for watching.